guys welcome back to my channel and for today's video i have a what's in my diaper bag i figured this would be a very helpful video especially for some new mamas or just anybody in general who is a mom and is just looking for ideas to what to put in their diaper bag or just like or they're just curious on what what other people carry in their diaper bag my diaper bag is going to be the most realistic one ever i did not fix it up for you guys it's a mess but it's real life so i decided i was just going to show you it how it is i'm not going to make it all cutesy or whatever it's just that's just how life is you know it's like with a baby that's how it is it's chaotic and crazy but it's so worth it so if you guys are excited for this video give it a like comment down below video ideas for the future don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos i'm trying to post three times a week but if not three, two times a week, I'm trying my best and so far we are succeeding. So that's so exciting. And let's get into what's in my diaper bag. So I will have everything linked for you guys in my Amazon storefront because that's where basically everything is in our diaper bag, I believe, is from Amazon, if not Target. So I will link as much as I can for you guys. But this is my diaper bag. I don't know the name of it, but... It's really cute. Personally for me, I don't find it that convenient because it's just like there's not a lot that separates inside. So like everything's just piled in there. But it does have a lot of pockets, which is nice on the outside. So you have a pocket here, which I don't have. Oh, I have my cat's toy in there because I probably hid it from him when he was being crazy. I'm not sitting down in this video, so this might be a little bit difficult. And then there's a pocket in the front right here, and I have a washcloth in it. That's all in there. And then these two pockets are insulated, so I will put his bottles in there if they're nice and warm and pre-made already, because I know he's going to be eating within like the next 30 minutes. I like to make them really warm, because I know they're just going to cool down in here, but they'll still stay somewhat warm. So I use that a lot. Then you unclip it. And you have the big, big one right here. And this is my diaper bag. So they have one pocket zipper here, which I usually put like my stuff in. So like my pads, my tampons or anything like that. I will put that in there because I don't really carry a purse anymore because why would I carry two? So I put that in there. And then there's also like a laptop little holder in here which is really cool, but my laptop is broken, so I won't be bringing my laptop anywhere. So that's inside our diaper bag. I'm just gonna pull stuff out and kind of tell you guys what it is, and it's probably obvious what it is, but we're just gonna go ahead and do it that way. So let's get into what's in my diaper bag. So I did move you guys just so it's a little bit more convenient. So if the lighting is different, that's why. But the first thing I have in here is so awesome, especially if you are, or what? especially if you are formula feeding we are formula feeding our son it's best for us don't say anything i don't care what you have to say if you don't like it um but obviously we have to bring formula everywhere and i don't always like to pre-make the bottles because we might not be using it right away and it goes bad within like an hour or so with like being out of the fridge so there's no formula in here right now because i don't just keep it in there just in case like we don't go anywhere for a while, but this is what it looks like. It comes with its own little spoon and cover, and it's like perfect. It's the perfect little tiny size. You can put as many little scoops of formula you need. I'll probably pack enough for four to five bottles in here of four ounce bottles just to make sure because sometimes I go shopping with my mom and it depends on how long we'll be gone. Not that he's gonna need four bottles, but I like to have it just to be prepared because you never know when your baby decides to be hungry every second. So I highly recommend this. I have it linked down below. They have it in blue, pink, I think gray. I'm not 100% sure, don't quote me on that, but I think this is so worth it. So the next two things I have are change of clothes because you just never know when your little baby's gonna have a blowout. This one I think is dirty. I think one of them's dirty. See, like real life, like I'm gonna show you a dirty one. Um, so we have this one, this one's from Target. It's a little wolf onesie feedy thing. I love these from Target. The only thing is, is I realize Oliver is like his dad and has really, like their body heat is just naturally like really, really warm. So he's not a huge fan of these. So I only put them in I only put him in these when we're going somewhere and it's like cold outside that way he's not cold and then i'll take it off at like my parents if we're going there but if we're going to the store he stay they stay on 
but and then I have this one which has tigers on it and like zoo animals on it which I think is really cute I think this one's dirty too I don't know I have to wash them he likes to spit up a lot but we have these two sleepers and then I also have another change of clothes for him because like I said you just never know when you're gonna need it especially with a baby like it's just it's just crazy town so I also have this one but this one's a button up so I probably will never use it this will be like last minute emergency just in case and it is a button up and it has the hand mittens like built in which I love so much Oliver likes to scratch the crap out of his face like so bad and I really need to like file his nails down but no matter how many times like you would file them down they just it just he just scratches his face so hand mittens are so important for Oliver so like I love when they're built in just because I know they won't fall off so I have this one as well as this one in gray but this one is becoming too small on him and it makes me want to cry because he wore this in the hospital and it was so big on him and I put him in it like not that long ago and it was almost too small and I was like that's not okay that's not okay take it off right now that's not okay I was so upset so like I said Oliver is really prone to spitting up all the time we've talked to his doctor about it his doctor said it's normal normal for some babies to just be a little bit more spit up -y than others so it's nothing to be concerned about especially since he's not complaining about it so I always have a bunch of washcloths in there just in case I need it and then I also have like two or three in his car seat with him because he's just that spit up -y. so I have washcloths like I said he also likes to scratch the crap out of himself so I have one pair of mittens and one pair of dirty ones I have to wash these these are my favorite ones i actually got them at target it came with this one too but these don't seem to be as tight as these these ones never fall off his hands it is amazing these sometimes fall off his hands a little bit and this also came with a gray pair and that one falls off too but this one for some reason just stays on the best that why that why that one, can i speak today that's why these are really dirty because he wears them all the time but hand mittens are so important for me well, for my son. The next thing we have is the hand sanitizer spray from Bath and Body Works. This is for me, obviously, in Winterberry Ice. And then I also have a pair of socks for him. If he's not wearing sleepers, I try to keep socks on his feet because his feet always get so freaking cold and I feel so bad, but he kicks them off. So there's really like no point in putting them on him, but it makes me feel better because I'm like, at least I tried and he just kicks them off and he hates them. So I'm not like a bad mom, but you know, we have socks. So I also have two sets of nunnies. So this is his favorite also the ryan and rose right now is his favorite as well which makes me so excited but i don't have any with me in the diaper bag because i usually put that one with him in his car seat so it's downstairs i also have a bibs one but he's not the biggest fan of this one he acts like he doesn't know how to use a pacifier when he takes it so it's hit or miss when he decides if he's going to take it or not, but I always have at least two or three in the diaper bag just in case I lose the one that is with him. The next thing I have is a boogie sucker because you never know when you're going to need this. We also have the Freedom Mom one, but I don't bring that one with us anywhere. I just bring this one just because it's a little bit more convenient than, and then you can't clean it like this one. You can just, I don't know. But yeah, we have a boogie sucker. Also, we usually have baby wipes in here. Don't know why they're not in here. So I'm gonna have to add them because that would be a catastrophe if I didn't have it and we were out in public and he had a blowout. So <laughs> I gotta add some baby wipes, but usually there's baby wipes in here and also a bunch of diapers. So someone asked me one time, what was my favorite brand of diapers? And I was like, oh my gosh, Pampers and Huggies. I love them both, they're the best. I take it back. I love Pampers, but Oliver leaks through them so bad. I don't know why, don't know what it is, the sizing is fine everything is fine he just leaks through them so bad no matter like how tight you put them on or loose you put them like it just doesn't work out i found that huggies fits him so much better and also he doesn't leak through them which is so 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 important we were going through so many outfits in a day for no freaking reason so i realized it was his diapers obviously i thought it was just him being like a full bladder all the time and we use huggies now he's still in size newborn because he's so little uh, size one is still too big on him, which makes my heart happy because he's still a little baby to me. I have about one, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven diapers in here. 
and I restock it anytime I use it just to make sure because like I said, you never know when he's gonna have a blowout or two or three. So you need to be prepared. So that's everything in my diaper bag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below your necessity that you need in your diaper bag because I would love to know if I'm missing something in mine, which I most likely am, but it's okay. But yeah, like I said, everything's linked down below or most everything is linked down below for you guys. So if you wanna definitely go check them out, I will have them there for you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.